Oh yeah, this is uh, the March edition of the Transfer Club. I've got James Shea here. Uh, we're going to be going for a few questions and answers uh, as we've reached landmarks of 100 games and 200 games for the club. So uh, let's get started. We'll pick a card and then ask a few questions about it. The Great Escape. Yeah, good one. Just, just a good start. Good start. Um, see, my memories of the Great Escape was um, it was a strange season, really, wasn't it? Because we were so happy to be in the championship, yeah. and I think at the start we 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 believe we should have been there, but the games were so tough. Yeah. I think we did find it tough, and um, I think lockdown was perfect for us. The main aim was just to stay up. Though, yeah, right? that was it. At all like, everything was geared towards staying up, and then lockdown came, and like it was sort of the break we needed. You didn't know what was going to happen, though. No one knew. No one knew what was going to happen. And um, obviously, the gaffer came back yeah. and. Nine games to go, was at sixteen points, yeah. drawing away at Leeds. Yeah, it was, it was a great, it was a great few games, a great few weeks, and um, weren't pleasant watching. It wasn't. Nice. No, it was a horrible watch, but it was, it was great afterwards. It's just no fans were there to like. You scored, you scored. I scored a good goal against Leeds. Missed against Barnsley though. <laughs> I, thought, I remember after the Barnsley game, we we're in the change rooms. Drew one one. Yeah. One one. I missed a set. Of, missed a one on yeah. one, and the gaffer was like, oh. Literally the whole team took off at that like and I was thinking, oh no, I've sent the boys down. I'm the reason we're getting relegated out. So I went home, I was so sad. And then obviously, who did we beat? Holloway. Cas Cas scored, scored the worldie. Yeah, Cas scored. And then um, beat Blackburn. after the whole game, we thought, wow, yeah, we've got, we, we we got a great this. chance. We can do this. And then honestly, great parties afterwards. Yeah, fun time. Good thing. Next one. <coughs> League One promotion. League One promotion. We tried to throw it away. <laughs> we tried to throw it away. We tried to throw it away. It was just a great season, weren't it? Yeah. It was, uh, when, even when the gaffer left, everyone just knew their roles. Yeah. Everyone knew what to do. Mick come in. Mick didn't try to change nothing. He just kept it going, kept it going. We just kept winning. <laughs> kept winning. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, it was, we turned up to games and we thought we were just going to win, didn't we? It was, like, it was sort of like we knew we were winning every game. Yeah. But we, I remember after five games in, we... Um, we had like a team talk, didn't we? We had everyone in the change room because we lost before to Peter, Aki, bro. And we were like, yeah, we were like, oh, like, we can achieve something here. We know we're yeah, good yeah. enough. But yeah. we were like near the bottom. Yeah. And we were like, what's going on here, lads? What, what's wrong? And then obviously we went on was a it crazy run. 20, 28, 20, 28 games? 28 games? 28, 28 games unbeaten, club yeah. record. Unbelievable, weren't it? Golden glove for you. Yes. Yes, golden glove. Golden, golden boot for Colo. Yeah. What a player he was that year. He was good. That was he a good was team good. though, wasn't it? it was With Stacey and JJ. They was a joke. They were so good. Shins was in the middle. It was, it was a good team. Really good. Deserved team. to go up. I feel like if we, I feel like because we- Deserved to go up as champions as well. Yeah, because we didn't win the league in League Two. Yeah, which was a, bit, a little bit disappointing. It was because we, we were the best team in the league, yeah. I thought. But yeah. Fair it play was play. like, sort of like, we have to win the league. Yeah. 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 But that was just such a, and it was- It was, it was unbelievable because you had us, Sunderland and Portsmouth, it was a combined 50, 60 games unbeaten at one point. Was it? No, was it? Something, it was something like crazy. That. Yeah, Barnsley was up there as well. But we it? was just on a roll. And I remember, it was a strange night, because it was a Tuesday night, Peterborough had Portsmouth. I was sitting indoors, I remember was watching you? it. I was around my mate's house, and I was like, I can't, I was like, on my phone scrolling. Next minute, scroll, check score. And it was 2-0, like, and then it went 2-2, two, two, I thought it was done. I thought I can't watch Done. this, so I, I, did, I went for a walk, yeah. went I to Tesco. I went and bought a chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> I, bought, I bought a packet of sweets and a bottle of water and I walked all the way back and I walked in and um, my mate went, oh my God, it's 3-2. And I was like, oh, I won't say it. I was like, oh, for yeah. God's sake. And, um, God. and he goes, no, to Peterborough. I went, I went back to the shop, the exact same route, bought the same packet of sweets, the same uh, bottle of water, walked all the way back and when I got back in, bottle of champers for me. When I met some of the boys. <laughs> yeah, then, and, then, and then I went on my phone and we were like, we're going to London. I was like, everyone just piled into London. Had a few beers. Because we were trying our best to throw it away. Yeah, we tried to throw it away, but we did it in the end. And we had a ropey Thursday, and then we won the league on the Saturday. Played really well against top two. Probably the best we've played. Yeah. George Moncur was whipping free kicks. Yeah. What a player. Hey. Right, next round. We've done that one. You watch that? Oh, favourite goal or favourite save? Yeah, good question. My, my favourite shot. So many goals. So many goals, especially this season. <laughs> what about last year? Last year I got one. My favourite goal last year was uh, Bristol City away. It's so hard because my favourite goal was definitely Leeds away, but there was no fans oh, there. Goal. It that was such a good goal. So good. Against Ben White, whipping it, and I thought that is the best goal, but there was no fans there, so it was just like a sort of a. We were buzzing on the bench. We were, I was buzzing. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, how's this going? Uh, my favourite goal though that I actually scored. <laughs> no, I think he ain't scoring from there. 
Um, my favourite goal, I'll be honest, it's probably one that, that just seems like nothing, but it was... Um, Chelsea one was a good one, though. Chelsea was a great goal. It was uh, Nottingham Forest away. We actually lost 2-1. But um, it was just it was just Nottingham Forest away, like packed stadium. It was I think 2,000 away fans. It was class. And um, I remember I scored and my two best mates were in the crowd doing this. <laughs> and I just was doing that to him. I thought, oh, it's just such a good moment for me. And I really enjoyed that goal. Don't know why, but that's probably my favourite goal for, for yeah. Luton. Best save? Best save. Don't make many. No, we did well. Back four do the work yeah, for you. Just stand there. Look pretty. I'm trying to think your best your best performance without a doubt Rochdale. was Rochdale away. Yeah, Gotta be a few good saves, didn't it? Rochdale was a good one. Remember I made a good save against Portsmouth mm. in the home game when we won. Three, three two. two. Yeah. A decent save there. Uh yeah, I'll go with that then. One against Portsmouth. Portsmouth. I don't know I can really remember. Take it. Pre match rituals. Pre match. Nothing. You got any? No. Mm. No. I've got one, I do the same every game. Every game, straight from the lineup to the left hand side of the box, just outside the D. Do you? What's all that about? I don't know, just do it. Just, just, it's, when I do that, I know I'm in the game, and then I say a few words to myself. Just to say you up. Cheer yeah. myself up. Say the same thing at the end every time, and then off I go. My one, if I had to say anything, I clean my gloves the night before. Yeah. And wash my gloves. Yeah. Make sure they're all ready. But some people it. are crazy about it. I remember you used to play with players who were like, I've got to I have my socks up to a certain oh, level, put the right sock on before the left sock. Yeah, before you even start. I couldn't think of it. <coughs> towel. Huh? Wait, a towel. My towel? On the net. No, but the uh, <laughs> fellow in the crowd was saying they couldn't see, so I had to start putting it in the, in the goal on the floor so they could see. Best memory. Best memory. There's been a few, to be fair. I don't think we can just pick one out. The League One, winning that League One was brilliant. Trip back from Carlisle was brilliant in League yeah. Two. No, they're both Staying there. up on the last day in the championship. Yeah, brilliant. I was saying that when I signed. I said we've had League Two promotion. So we signed at the same time. So it was League yeah. Two promotion, League One promotion. Stay up on the last Stay day. Stay on the last. And then last season was like a nothing. A nothing. It was quite nice at the end of the season. Nice to like, to sit in we've got five games left. We're not really playing for much. Like, we can actually Enjoy no stress. Yeah. Every other season we've had stress. And this season and this again, season, eight, season games, means, eight games to go, probably the most stress will be because it's the. Yeah, it's the running. But even 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 this is a good great memory. Just being in and around it, having a chance, and, and it could playoffs. be something. It could be something special. We'll work, yeah. we'll wait and see. There's no pressure. No pressure on us at all. Um, my favourite memory. I'd probably say, I'd probably say it was staying up. But that was more relief. That, that, more relief yeah. than anything. Because yeah. you know what it meant. You know you could build on it the next yeah. season. And I remember how hard it was to get promoted from League One. Think how good we were in League One. Yeah. And we just went up. Yeah. And we were excellent. We were very So good. I knew if we went down, it was going to be so tough to get back up that staying in this league was so important. Because the team important. were getting better in the yeah. one as well, weren't they? So I think that was it. My turn. League 2 promotion. Yeah. League um, 2 promotion. Well, what was it? Well, it was a strange season because we were so good. We always felt like we were going to get promoted, didn't we? Yeah, it was always felt like we were going to go up. It was just... If we could win the league, and fair play to Aki, they, they were them. excellent. They were I mean, Clicker when he when, when Clicker yeah. signed, I was like, "How did you win the league?" And they 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 were excellent. They were very good. They won every game, so there's nothing we could do. Thankfully, we went up and a great trip back from Carlisle. Yeah, I remember that trip. I remember your goal at Exeter. Exeter away was a good night. That was a good. That was probably when we thought we're the best team in the league. We went yeah. top that. Yeah, because because they fancied themselves. Didn't yeah, they? we were better than them that day. Yeah. Four one was it? Yeah, four something one. Like that, yeah. So that was good. But I feel like we knew we were good enough all season. We just had yeah. bad results. Yeah, a few bad. A few bad. Port Vale away, away, we were no good. There was a few games where you think, how, how have we lost that? But yeah. it's not an easy league. No, it's Them games are hard. And to be fair, at the end of the day, the main thing was just to go up by it. Yeah, we had to make sure we got promoted. And then Carlisle on the way back, seven hours on that coach. <laughs> started, drinking, started drinking way too early. Started drinking. It was like a long flight. It was like a Vegas flight. It was brilliant. It was, it was class, brilliant. wasn't it? It was good because we were driving past all the fans that were all. We stopped. Remember when we stopped to get some beers? Yeah, yeah. and all the Luton fans were there. We're piling in. Just remember staying outside, <laughs> jumping in with them, getting after it. <laughs> that was a great occasion. It was just, it was a good thing to be a wet car. I was quite probably. Yeah, and the one for, like in League Two it was a good squad. Well, weren't it? Yeah, really good squad. Good squad. Good lads. Mully, Cuthbert, great guys. Kenilworth Road. What a place? Special. Different twenty for now, so yeah. You won't you won't go to a stadium like it. No. And but I don't know if that's just because it's our home. It's, it does it's feel one like of the home. It's that's a cliche, but it's our 12th man, really, isn't it? Yeah, oh, 100%. No, no one wants to come to Kenilworth. No, and we love playing. Yeah, there. especially on the Tuesday night. It is something like that. People, no one the fans are so close to you. Yeah. So I, when I'm like running down the right, right wing and like say it's their throwing, yeah. I can just hear the fans yeah. just hurling, 
whatever they're saying to their players, whatever they're saying to us, you can hear everything. I remember playing against Luna. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to time waste and it didn't go down. It's horrible, horrible. But it's it's such a good, I mean, it's such a good stadium for us. Yeah. Because I think on a Tuesday night, there's no place like it. You I don't know why under the lights it just becomes... It's, it's different. This different world almost. Yeah. You'd happily play every night, every game. I want to play every every game Tuesday Seven night. Off road. Yeah, yeah we're good there. <laughs> but no, even yeah. Chelsea when they come in, they they. That was a tough game, game, yeah. Real but no, it's a, it's a great place. The fans, fans. On to the fans. Say? <laughs> yeah. What can we say? We're just bigging them up already. Um, Unbelievable. I think the, the the most thing I say about our fans would be the away fans. Oh, the numbers they travel. The numbers they travel in, and they're always they're always after the game. They're when like, you lose or draw. They're always there. When you lose or you draw, clap them. Win. They yeah. clap you back, no matter yeah. what. And I feel like they're they're proud. Yeah. Like that's our main thing. Yeah. We have got to make them proud. I feel like we've done that since we've been. Yeah. Since, well, since I've signed, I feel like it's, it's, it's League Two, League One. It's been, it's been a great life. so far. And like, yeah. there's nothing. There's nothing really. We can do more for them anymore. <laughs> as we go to the prem, <laughs> then they'll love the next one. Then they'll love us even more. But um, you, you see the numbers they travel in. Yeah. I see. I think it was on the website they Peterborough. Even though Peterborough's only up the road, three thousand. Yeah. Three thousand going to Peterborough. It's unbelievable. It is good. And that, that's, they're actually nice people. I think with Luton being such like a family community yeah. club, mm-hmm. you do speak to fans after the games. You do meet fans. And they've been with us when we was in League Two. Yeah. They've come up. They've been in the conference. They was here before. But yeah. They've been so they yeah. They've been here long before we're gone. Mm. Long after we're gone. And they've seen the journey. They've enjoyed the yeah. journey just as much as we have. Yeah, I know. We've been on it with them. Yeah. But no, good fans. Your debut. Debut. Same as me. The same as you. Tottenham. Tottenham in the checker trade. Twenty threes in the checker trade. Scored a known goal. It was a blinder. Hit the post. Hit me. Went in. We won though, didn't we? Yeah, two one. I think we won or three one. Oh, I've done a blinding. I remember the ball come over the top. Mm. And uh, I shouted keepers and money's facing it. I yeah. Thought, oh, I made a, I made a ricky because their player was right behind him. And he ended up flicking it over their player, chesting it that brilliant down, and shanking the diag <laughs> to gamble. It, it went to it. Um, it looked good, but you didn't mean um, it. No, of course not. It's a strange one, that. Well, I, I remember me, I signed after the Yeovil game, so we just beat Yeovil, yeah, Vass- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeovil 8-2. Yeah. Vass had left, I've almost come in as a replacement. Yeah. And, um, and then we had Barnet on the Saturday. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Barnet away, like. The lads have just won 8-2. It, like, it was a weird one, because you, you beat Yeovil 8-2, you think you're going to go. Yeah, go to Barnet and, and win again. But I went there, I was on the bench, it was 1-0. I, I didn't come on, but I was watching it going, I think about I thought I was signing for the team who yeah. were definitely going to get promoted, and win now I'm um, losing weight at Barnet, but that's, 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 that's League 2. That's, that's League 2. Two. That's, that's, that's a tough league. league. What have we got here then? Favourite team, mate. Favourite team, mate. That's a toughie. There's so many. I've got, a, I got a good group, but I love spending, I'm too much of a social butterfly. I'm going to go down the route, my favourite teammate. Oh, You've had a few over the years as well, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, Elliot Lee, I loved him. I'm sad he left. Your roommate, your old roommate. Old roommate. Jack Stacey. Jack Stacey, I mean, old roommate, old, old housemate, Jack Stacey was class. Old car, Elliot Lee. Uh, old, old car school. Old car school. Card, card Cards. Cards school. I mean, I love, Collo and Cranes were brilliant yeah. together. I, I think... Good for influence, for in, my favourite teammate now would be tough between quite a few people, yeah, you, and it'll upset me because I got yeah, Potsy. You can't name one. I got Potsy. I got Eisted. I got Breezy. I got Locks. I think those four are probably my stable four. But then, like, I'll take me fellow GK. Yeah, Eisted. You got to take Eisted. Yeah. I think Eisted's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've lived with him, so I've seen him. From he, he, he did not want to join at the same time as me. And yeah, no, he did. There's, there's quite together. a few that have been there. Yeah, but I think like Elliot Lee's probably my favourite teammate of all time. Like, I feel team. like we was just like on the same page, on the same the page all the time, inseparable, walking around everywhere, just doing whatever, celebrating together, doing whatever. Both from completely different parts of the country. Yeah, which didn't help, <laughs> but that's fine. But then now, uh, there's, you do miss there's him. other things I do miss him. But then like James Collins, I think would be the biggest influence on me. Really? Like at this club, yeah, proper arm around the shoulder yeah. sort of person, yeah, like always able to speak to him, like help me for a lot. I feel like Collo is probably someone I'll always think of in that way. Good pro, man. Top pro, top, like, scores so many goals. I used to watch him in training and think... Keeper basher. Yeah, basher. Well, I remember him and Hilts used to just bash the keepers yeah. in the league too. I used to watch Keep him going, they were both so addicted to scoring goals. Yeah, yeah. Like, they wouldn't stop booting balls and goals in training. No, even if the ball's just rolling, you've got yeah, to kick it in the goal. He has to. It makes him feel better. Otherwise, he ain't got it. Favourite away day? Favourite away day. Ooh. I, I couldn't probably name one. I quite enjoy playing away. I, I, like, like, I like when you go away, you've got your, 
you're a away fan with you. It's like yeah. you're up against them. Yeah, it's you've a got, proper warfare. Yeah, that's what I, I, I enjoy away days. Like even when we went to Hull the other week, yeah, you, we got our fans in the corner. Yeah, they were brilliant. And yeah. then you're up against their. Where yeah, yeah. Got favorite away. We've had I've had a few good ones. I'll try and pick one from each year. I'll go Exeter and League Two. Yeah. League One. Bristol Rovers was good. Yeah, it was towards the end. League One was my favourite away day. League One. Uh, was... I like Bradford in League One. Don't know why. Oh, that was a good night. That was. But that was a good one away yeah. from home night. That was, was like a horrible, 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 proper graft. Yeah. This season, favourite away day for me would be Millwall. Millwall was good. I remember we went to watch Venom great. at the cinema the yeah. night before, <laughs> and I scored two the next day. Was it you coming to me? <laughs> you you got to go <laughs> cinema every Friday night. Know? We went and watched Bond. Me James Bond was it? Yeah, because cinema's over the road. Yeah, it was a night I game, so we're like, oh, we got a few hours to kill, we'll go yeah. to cinema. And you you took your cover. Yeah, right? yeah, no. Well, we got them on Saturday, so it'll be two more. What was your favourite away day? Venom again on Friday? I'll watch it again, watch it at home. <laughs> favourite away day? Though? Yours? Favorite. Uh, Mine's Millwall all the way, just because of personal reasons, scoring two, winning the game. I couldn't name one. Carlisle? Carlisle was very good. Carlisle. The way we. Yeah. Got promotion. The we were terrible back. that day. Though. We were awful. We were bad that day. But Giveaway yeah. penalty as well. Yeah, well, typical. Yeah. Oh well. Mick Arthur, super Mick, big Mick. What a guy. Just one word, really. Legend. Yeah. I don't think there's no more to say. He's. he's you, you're never. A bandit at golf. He's yeah. A bandit, a bandit at, golf. at golf. A big bandit. Yes. Cheat at golf. I him and Kev Dearden. Yeah. Don't play. Him Honestly, golf. do not play them. But too. I've never seen a man like. You've always got. He's always got something to say to you. Yeah. No matter what conversation, what it's about, he'll be able to speak about anything. And I've never seen someone who gets so much respect yeah. from, from everyone. Like we're, we're playing any team, about three or four of their staff coming over yeah. speaking to him. He knows everyone. How good was he in that league one? He was brilliant. Oh, he was brilliant. He was so good. He, he, he didn't change a thing. He just it, let it run its course. And he had so much respect from every player. Yeah and everyone else it was just sort of like and he was desperate for us to go whatever he it. says we we do and he he's he got, talks you listen he's got everyone's best interest at heart so yeah. you whatever he says you take on board yeah he talks you listen and it's gospel it is legend last one nathan the gaffer, jones the gaffer be careful i don't know if he's there is he over there what can we say he's downstairs we can say what we want <laughs> now i've got so much to, i've got a lot to thank to, to, to nathan jones me personally because he brought me from being a sort of like a 23s player, so I've got a lot a lot to owe to him really for yeah. being who I am today. He's, and, he's brilliant, he's been and, brilliant for the club. And as a manager, he's, he's spot on. Isn't he? I know we've gone back to the league one a few times, but it shows what a good job he'd done when yeah. he left. Yeah. Because it all just stayed the same, didn't it? It stayed the same. And, and he's been brilliant for, I think, a lot of players. Yeah. I think he always says to people, like, if you. You signed for me. Remember the presentation you had? I never got the presentation. You're joking. No, I never got the presentation. He would tell me about it when I signed, but it was all quick and everything, so I didn't, have, didn't get the time. You didn't to have do time it. to do it? No, I had the presentation. It was, it was good. You sort of watch it and you, you believe in him, because he believes in you so much that you believe in what he's yeah. saying. To be fair, as soon as I spoke to him, I knew I was going to sign. Yeah. I knew I was going to sign. But I, I remember I didn't sign for him. I remember in League Two, the year before I signed, I signed for Leighton Orient instead. Oh, did you? And he, he was like, he said to me in my presentation, he goes, if you ever do that, you'll never play for me again. You'll never have the chance to play for me again. I was like, okay, I'll sign. I was doing something, he sign the deal. Sign it now. I was like, but, but he, whatever he spoke about, you listen. Yeah. And he's so tactically aware. You see aware. enthusiasm every single day. And it is good. One thing I say about Mick Harford as well, come back to me, is the recruitment. Yeah. Yeah. He brings in good players. Good and players, the same good for, people as well. The same for the gaffer as well. He good brings people. in good people and good players. He like, won't bring no one in that's going to upset the apple We've cup. always improved our squad. Yeah. And everyone who's played for him has improved and gone on to be better players. Yeah. Massively. So, a lot of credit to Nathan Jones. He's done well. He's done all right. He's done all right. Let's not big him up too much because yeah. he gets a lot of awards. And we will take a bit of credit for, for what we've done. Yeah. That's a wrap. Hope you've enjoyed it, lads. And uh, we'll see you next month for the next set. Uh, What's it called? Transfer, Transfer Club. Transfer Club.